so somewhere along the way, New Look released their fall or winter pattern collection, and I totally missed it. And I kind of feel like you guys missed it too, because normally you guys are reaching out to me on social media saying, hey, this collection's out, do your review. And I didn't hear from anybody. Um, and it's really no wonder because Simplicity's website is just really difficult to see what's new and um, try and navigate it just in general. So sorry, this is late, but we are getting to it now, better late than ever. And I love New Look. They're probably my favorite of all the pattern companies, big four wise. Um, it probably ranks New Look, then McCall's, um, which is maybe surprising to some of you. But either way, let's jump right in. The very first thing we have is this Mrs. Dress with optional drape, they are calling it. So it looks like a long sleeve woven dress with this swoopy thing and then a belt that comes up and over to create this interesting little midsection situation. I think that's quite lovely. And then the skirt has sort of like, it's like a tulip skirt kind of. I don't think there's a seam there. I think it just flares out like that um, kind of on its own. It looks like some darting and a center front seam. Here's the back. Ooh, fisheye darts. You guys know I love that. Center, back, invisible zipper. And then you've also got a like, proper cuff with a, with a button closure here too. Maybe even shoulder pads. Doesn't that look like there's something kind of in there? Um, so here it is without the loopy swoopy thing. It has, I guess these are front fisheye darts to complement the back. And it makes me wonder if under the swoopy thing are full length fisheye darts. Yeah, so here it is. You can see the fisheye darts here. I like this little tie thing. Here it is sleeveless, so it makes it very versatile. You have a sleeve or you can make it without. And they may, they are illustrating this in kind of like a little metallic, so it could even be a little bit holiday. This looks like a flat felled seam, but only halfway, because it's not on the skirt, so that's interesting. Here are all the views together. And then here's our line drawings. So this must be a part of this. And I wonder if it's sewn down or if it's loose. Doesn't that look like that belongs to this thing here like this? Or maybe it belongs to this. Yeah, it looks like it goes this way. Um, let's go back to her. Yeah, it looks like it's sewn down. So that's interesting. The back is beautiful and you can tell it looks really great on her. Fits her, like the slope of her back really well. This is nice. I like this one. So garment measurements, they're only giving us the bust. Fabric wise for fashion fabric, you really don't need that much considering, you know, it's got a sleeve and a, you know, additional like panel type of thing. Um, and even see the sleeveless version, you know, barely requires any less fabric than the view B. So that's great. And then suggested fabrics are Shally. Cotton types, crepe back satin, crepe de chine, double georgette, silky types, totally. Uh, Ponty and double knit are also suggested for all three views. I'd agree with that. And then you need thread, an invisible zipper, and then for the cuffs, you just need a couple of kind of large buttons, three quarter inch buttons. But this is nice. Good way to start things off. Sizes A through 20 and the description is Mrs. Dress and two length options actually we missed that where's that those line drawings again yeah they don't whoops they don't really um extenuate that very much but there's actually a slit here and for whatever reason maybe because she's trying to walk the slit is actually what's flaring open 
It's not a trumpet style skirt. So that's actually a little bit misleading. This is just the, the flap that's being created by those slits. I miss that entirely. All right, sleeveless or cuffed long sleeves, optional front tie detail, fitted with front and back darts, zip fastens at back, designed for woven, ponty, or double knit fabrics. Great. All right, next up we have this knit empire dress. And it looks like they've made theirs out of some like um, variegated sweater knit. Now I have, let me open this up. I have made, actually, yeah, it's like a sweater knit. I have made a knit pattern that has seam like this with this little itty bitty pocket in there. And inevitably every time, even though I love pockets, I end up just sewing that closed because it gets real finicky. The pocket bag has nothing really to attach to on the inside and it just ends up being annoying. So, you know, I probably would do without the pocket, but it has this really exaggerated like cowl neck or scarf neck. That's, that's actually really, really neat. And then this curved empire waist with princess seams. Yeah. So I guess the princess seams go all the way down. That's where the pockets are sewn into. And then it's just above the knee length with long sleeves. This is super cute. Here it is in the back. So you can see in the back, we've still got the princess seams going with the empire seam. So the second best thing to fisheye darts is princess seams. They're essentially the same thing, but they both create shape in the back. So I'm happy to see that. And then there's the neckline again. I just love that. Very cozy. And then we also have one here. You can see, see how they even did it in the illustration? I don't know. I don't like those little slits right there on my hips. You know what I mean? But anyways, here's a version without the uh, cowl neck. Here's a version, I think that's shorter than this gold version I just showed you. Then they even did one with contrast fabric and a little different sleeve. So this is more fall and spring appropriate. And then you can also make the scarf separate. So what is she wearing? Is she wearing, yes, okay. She's wearing the dress and the scarf together. This isn't sewn on as one piece, but because they made it out of the same fabric, it almost looks like it is, which I like that. I don't mind that it's two separate pieces. And of course you could wear that scarf with other things and naturally the dress without the scarf. So I think that's kind of cool, but I don't think she's wearing did they say B? Yeah, she's wearing B. Okay. So A is a longer length. I'm digging this one. Here are our line drawings. Pretty straightforward, you know, on the dress design, but I do like that it's designed for knits. I love the princess seams. I love the empire waist. I love the sleeve options. And I would just omit these little pockets all together. All together. And then, yeah, there's the back with the two lengths. Nice. Okay. They are recommending stretch knits only, uh, double knit, interlock, ponty, modal, sweatshirt fleece, sweater knit, bamboo, and ITY. So you just have to be a little bit careful here because just because some of these knits are ideal for the dress doesn't really make them ideal for the scarf. Like, I don't know that I want a sweatshirt fleece scarf. You know what I'm saying? It might be a little bit bulky. Same thing with double knit. So just pay attention. If you're doing, if you're trying to mimic what they did here with the dress and the scarf, um, you know, pick your knit wisely. I think the bamboo, a lighter weight sweater knit, uh, modal would all look great. Interlock would be good. ITY, lightweight and drapey. Um, but the, it's like double knit and ponty and sweatshirt fleece and anything that's like super bulky, I think, I don't know, may not, may not pull off, um, with that scarf look like they've got going on. Okay. Sizes 10 to 22 and Mrs. Dress in three lengths, pull on dresses with inseam pockets, two sleeve styles, 
separate cowl neck collar designed for stretch knits only. Cute. All right, now we've got a, what they're calling a princess seamed dress. This is like a little notch collar, a sleeve with ooh, something happening here. There are supposedly princess seams in here. I'm assuming they're just long panels. I don't see a waist seam. Perfect fabrication here with this. I'm assuming it's like a crepe or something. Look at how it moves in this picture here. Pretty, huh? And then what is up with the sleeve? I can't figure that out just from these photos. Come on. I'm trying to get the other picture. Okay. So center back invisible zipper. These sleeves are funky. They're like a ruffle, but they're like on a curve. Yeah, look at that. I guess that's kind of cool. Oh, and look at this. So it's princess seam, but you get some extra flare from the hip down. All right, I think I can get behind that. Here it is with some, I'm guessing, bias trim. And then here are all three views. I think A might be shorter, maybe, maybe three different lengths. Hard to tell, but I love this longer length that they did, especially in the lightweight fabric with the dark background. That's very fall winter for sure. Here are our line drawings. Pretty, pretty seeming. Like I said, this is going to fit you really well all throughout. So that's great. Okay, lightweight to medium weight silky fabrics, such as chalet, lawn, lightweight cotton types, crepe to sheen, double georgette, lightweight linen, silky types. Okay. All right, there we go. Let's look at that little description, make sure I didn't miss anything there. Sizes eight to 20. So it only has two lengths. Fitted at the bust with princess seaming, semi-full skirts, sleeve and neckline options, fastens at back with zipper, designed for woven fabrics. Cute. All right, now we have, so we talked about this, I can't remember, maybe McCall's. Um, but this like double breasted blazer dress thing is a definite trend. It's been around um, definitely last winter, maybe a little bit before that. I feel like it's a very Meghan Markle type of look. Uh, this one has the shawl collar. It has a little cuff here. This might even be Ponty knit. Um, it's got a little patch pocket and princess seams. Probably even like a shoulder pad or something in there. I'm just saying how flat this is. And, well, you can really see it pronounced there, actually. So here it is just as the jacket. Here it is as like a long duster coat. Really looks like a robe whenever you use the contrasting fabrics. But look how cute. The length is a little bit short, and I find that mostly in new look patterns, they can run a little bit short. I don't know how tall she is, but um, the shortness kind of balances out how covered up you are up here. So I'm sort of okay with it, but you know, you just wanna make sure it's not too, too short. All right, so yeah, we've got three lengths and three different closures. And then there's our back. So we have princess seams in the front, but not in the back, which is a little bit disappointing. All right, fabrics, boucle, yes. Brocade, okay, a little bit stiff. Chalet, chalet's very lightweight, so I don't know about that. Crepe, same deal. Denim, sure. Linen, satin, velveteen would be gorgeous, and lightweight wool types. Also, I would add in suitings, but yeah, these lightweight chalet and crepe, I don't know. I mean, I guess crepe can be a little bit, like there's a crepe back satin 
So that can be a little bit heavier, but shall we? I don't know about that. All right, 10 to 22 on the size range. Mrs. coat or jacket with pockets, unlined, coat in two links with shawl collar, side tie fastening or button fastening. Jacket buttons, jacket button fastens off center. Okay. All right, next up, we've got a knit top and skirt. It's a little basic on first look. We've just got a really just a t-shirt. I feel like the hem is asymmetrical. And then some kind of like wrap situation happening with the skirt, also asymmetrical. Oh, the back even has like a wrap over thing. Kind of a lot going on there. Here is just the top. Here is the skirt. So elasticized waistband and then just like this extra panel. So like a faux wrap. And this is all designed for knits, easy patterns. So if you've never worked with knits before, this would be a really good place to start, I guess. Skirts are like having a moment. And I know it sounds kind of weird to be like, skirts, really? Did they ever go anywhere? Not really, but like skirts are coming back. Skirts are kind of took a backseat to dresses, I feel like or jeans, you know, and, and skirts are like, no, 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 don't forget about us. <laughs> All right, so we have two different front options, one with a straight hem, one with an asymmetrical one, long sleeve, short sleeve. And here are the back options. So the long sleeve top is really very basic. And then the short sleeve one has this like extra panel and the asymmetrical hem. So that's kind of interesting. And then the skirt, you have, again, a basic one, and then you have one with an extra little doodad on the back, extra length, a little bit fussy, but all right, interlock, jersey, rib knit, I'm here for the rib knit, modal, bamboo, ITY. Yeah, I mean, some of those are more ideal for the top than the skirt, but they would definitely work for all of them. I would say the rib knit would work best for both if you wanted to make like a matchy matchy situation or like a lightweight sweater knit would look really great. So some good options there. All right, sizes eight to 20. Mrs. Top and skirt two piece designed and, designed and sized for stretch knits only. Short sleeve top with front overlay detail. Nope, it's a back overlay detail. Long sleeve pull on top, pull on skirt and two length options with elasticated waist, straight hem or asymmetrical front overlay. Mm, okay, I think the description's a little off, but <laughs> that's okay. All right, now we've got this new look high-waisted skirt. And the skirt has, this reminds me of one of the Colette skirt patterns that's been out, I mean, since I started sewing, this little, I don't know what you want to call that, sweetheart <laughs> waistline, I don't know. Um, and then a huge pleat and floor length. I think they're trying to really push this as like a holiday skirt. The back does not have any pleats and it has like a little baby train. And then we've got this shorter version, and we've also got this version with a little bow. And it also has pockets. All right, here are our line drawings. Yeah, it's actually really straightforward. It doesn't even really have a waistband. So I'm guessing there's a facing in there, which is nice. Let's see what the notions are. Uh, thread, invisible zipper, and ribbon. So, yeah. 
brocade, which is what she's wearing, cotton types, crepe, crepe back satin, lightweight denim, linen types, sateen, silky types, taffeta, velveteen. I mean, you could really pick any fabric you wanted for these skirts. I mean, I can't think of one that wouldn't work. Okay, maybe like the sweatshirt fleece would be a little bit strange. You know what I mean? Or like a sweater knit might be a little bit odd, but for the most part, well, actually those are, those are knit fabrics anyways, and all of these are woven. Let me think of a woven one that wouldn't work. Um, gosh, I can't think of any. I can't think of any at all. So there you go. This is a great little stash buster. If you've got a fabric that you love and you just don't know what to do with it, I would say this could be your winner. So eight to 20 on the sizes. Mrs. Skirt in three lengths, grown on waist with front notch detail. Skirts have front seam, pleat, or bow detail. So I missed that, that the fronts are, the, are different. Oops. Ah. So they all look the same to me. What are our options? Front seam, pleat, or bow. I mean, this is a pleat. That looks like a pleat to me too, but maybe it's just a seam. I don't know. And then the bow. Okay. Skirt zip fasten at side. I love a side zip skirt actually, and a side zip skirt with a pocket. That's a really fun technique to play around with for sure. I don't really know why they did that. It's not like there's not a center back seam. Hmm. Okay. I don't know that I believe them. I think that this is a zipper. <laughs> I think there's a zipper here. I don't know why they would do that. Yeah. Okay. Next up, I think, yeah, we've just got a few left here. Actually quite a few. Okay. So next up, asymmetrical skirts. I told you guys, skirts, skirts, and more skirts. Pretty little cable knit turtleneck for what it's worth. But here's the skirt. It's got a little tie pull up ruching thing happening. Asymmetrical, like I said. There's the back, straight back. And here is the um, illustration, which looking at the illustration, it's not necessarily something I would be like, oh, I absolutely have to have that. But I love the version that they made with her with the plaid and the turtleneck and all of that. Here it is, and yeah, they definitely picked an Asian fabric. It's giving me definitely kind of an Asian vibe. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it's the fabric that's making me think that. This has a side zip. This has like uh, top stitching seam, which is nice. Here are our three skirts. So I don't really know the difference between A and B. We'll look at the line drawings here next. Length? Yeah, it must be length. But here's what the top of A looks like. You can't really see that because her sweater is covering it. This is kind of cool. Like, I like this. It, it's definitely not like anything else I have in my closet. That is for sure. Uh, chambray, cotton types, flannel, linen types. Linen would be great. Lightweight wool types. Yeah, any kind of suiting. Yeah, I think it's great. I like this one a lot. Um, eight to 20 is your size range. Mrs. Skirt with asymmetric front hem, side front seam with front split or gather details. Waist facing, no waistband. I like a no waistband. All right, now we've got a, oh, it's like a, like a whole outfit, which I really love. It's the jacket, top, and pants that we're looking at here. So the jacket's like an oversized blazer kind of thing. The top is like lightweight, drapey, and then the pant, I don't know, I can't see the pant at all. Get another picture. This is the back, but it's made out of black fabric, so it's hard to tell. But yeah, pretty boxy shape. Center back seam, I can see a little vent detail. 
here she is without the jacket. So the top has a little grown on sleeve. V-neck, probably a facing. It's kind of long, like a tunic. Yeah, definitely tunic length. Little side slits. This is another great stash buster. And then here are our pants. So we've got front darts, side zip, and these funky, funky little cuffs. So interesting. Well, they actually look kind of cool. I don't know that they're my style, but I can think of people in my head that I know on the internet that would kill it in these. That would look so, so, so cute. I don't know, maybe I should try it. Oh, but it's pants, ugh. You guys know how I feel about pants. Especially these are very, I mean, these are basically cigarette pants with, you know, an extra detail. And that's just like a lot of fitting. Um, here are the line drawings. Those pants are fun. They almost make me wanna like go to Goodwill and try on and find some pants that sort of fit as close as I can get ready, wear, ready to wear to fit. And then adding this on the bottom of them. You know, if they're black pants, you can find a close enough black fabric. You know, and then this is very on trend, the oversized blazer. I'm here for that. And then this is just to make it a whole outfit. You know what I mean? But, I mean, if you don't have a shirt pattern like this in your stash, like, you need to get one. Just because, like I said, it's such a great fabric stash buster and one of those things that you could make out of like a wild and crazy fabric and still would be able to wear and pull it off with you know jeans and like a solid color blazer okay so suggested fabrics lightweight to medium stable fabrics such as crepe and linen for the jacket and the pants also brocade gabardine and wool types and the top can also be in chalet and silky types. Okay, shoulder pads in the jacket, and then a zipper for the pants and a button for the jacket. And the shirt, you just pull on over your head. Okay, 10 to 22 on the size range. Mrs. Coords, like short for coordinates. Jacket top and pants. Jacket has single button fastening, pull on v-neck sleeveless top, Pants have front hem split detail. All right, now look at this little comfy cozy number. They're calling it a poncho and a jacket. So I'm assuming we have two versions at least. So it looks like this is like a scarf. You can see the other side of it here and they've just wrapped it around and thrown it over her shoulder. That's really cool. We've got a raglan sleeve, a patch pocket, and also a center front opening. This fabric looks super chic, right? I mean, this looks very expensive to me. Here she is again. Just a different little pose. All right, and then here's the back with the other side of that. This looks a little sad. Or is that? Yeah, no. That's just poor craftsmanship. Even down here, maybe the fabric was hard to work with. Okay, here's the jacket without the scarf. Oh, this is fun. I'm not the biggest fan of this bell sleeve, but you could easily swap out the narrow sleeve for that. This is so cool. And then here it is in a longer length. Huh. So I wonder if this has this little thing too. Let's see. Uh, I think so. So A is shorter with a wider sleeve. Then you have B, which is the narrow sleeve and a little bit longer. B and C are the same length, same sleeve, C just has this little thing. I don't know, maybe it is. 
And then you can see where it's sewn into the collar. This is cool. This is super cool. All right, suggested fabrics. Corduroy? I mean, maybe for A or B. Same with denim. Linen. Ponte. Sateen. Sweater knits. Twill and wool types. So this one with the scarf, I would only make out of a sweater knit. The others, the other two views, A and B, I can see out of any of these other ones. I mean, maybe wool. I would do wool out of the scarfy one too. And then you need thread, two extra large coat snaps, A and B. Okay, so only A and B have that, you know, strapping closure detail. Wide ribbon or twill tape. Yeah, and then two D-rings. Gosh, I like this one too. I'm in trouble, guys. So alphanumeric sizing here, extra small through extra large. Misses unlined jackets in two lengths. Snap fastens off center at front. Raglan wide sleeves, round neck or scarf neck option. Patch pockets. I just think that's so chic looking. And look, even they can't get there. Um, plaids matched up perfectly. It's very difficult. Okay. Next up, we have a loose fitting blouse. So this one has the still popular, you know, statement sleeve with this, you know, exaggerated cuff, extra large button, and then the sleeve is wide and brought into a gather. Your uh, bodice is a little v-neck with a little like pleat sewn in. And then you've got, it's shorter in the front and longer in the back, which I don't know if it's my age <laughs> or what's happening, but I'm starting to really like um, shirts like this. Uh, it has this split down the side and pretty set in sleeve. Let's see what the back looks like. Yeah, pretty straightforward back. Here is the illustration. Here's another um, sleeve cuff option. And also the hem, you notice, is the same as well. And then you've got this kind of flared uh, sleeve. So yeah, this is why I'm digging these tops so much because you can wear them with leggings or ponty pants and keep your bum covered, uh, which for me is just like a comfort thing. I don't like super tight pants on my bum that's exposed. It's just, I don't know, not comfortable for me. But so yeah, here are our three versions. I think they <laughs> messed up the illustration. The back actually has your regular like, I don't know, what's that called? Neckline? Back neckline? This they just accidentally copied and pasted. That's too bad. Okay. Uh, Chali, Charmeuse, Cotton Lawn, Crepe de Chine, Double Georgette, Gauze, Lightweight Linen, Silky Types, Voile, Tinsel. Yeah, all of those. All of those. And then, of course, when spring comes, you can start shortening these sleeves. I don't know about leaving the sleeves off entirely, but um, definitely some shortening can happen. And then you just need a couple of buttons for your cuffs. All right. 8 to 20 on the size range. Easy to sew, pull on v-neck tops with front single pleat detail, straight or stepped hem, that's what that's called, cuffed or slightly flared long sleeves, designed for wovens. All right. Next up, we have this little knit number. Lots of great knit options from them, this collection. So, dolman sleeve, kind of a wide rounded neckline uh and then just like a tie belt yeah that's a little basic here's the back so there is actually a seam there there's some kind of gathering happening let's see the front My computer is not wanting me to select these photos. Here we go. 
So yeah, there is a seam here and the belt falls a little bit below that. And then just another detail of this. Okay. So this is a shorter version of what she's wearing. I mean, I don't know. It's a lot. This is a lot of fabric. It's like, you know, your whole chest is covered up. It's got this dolman sleeves. There's all this fabric around your arm and it's a wide sleeve too. You know what I mean? It's just kind of a lot going on there. This at least has the V-neck and the shorter sleeve. Can you tell from the illustrations what I'm saying when I'm just like, oh my God, it's like a huge block, you know, of fabric. And at least this is giving it a little bit of room to breathe. And then this is a longer, this might be what she's wearing without the belt and a different sleeve, but it's got this little split on the side, which is good. I don't know, I don't love this one. It's also just not something I would pick up in the store. It's not, not my style, really, at all. All right, here it is. Here's the fronts. And then here's our back. Yeah, all right. Uh, fabrics are interlock jersey and stretch velvet. Yeah, ITY also. Any of those lightweight knits would be fine. Alphanumeric sizing, extra small to extra large. Pull on top tunic or top with grown on sleeves in two lengths. Seamed below bust. Optional tie details, stretch, designed for stretch knits. All right, so now we've got a wide leg pant and skirt pattern. Pants are cute. So pretty straightforward, traditional wide leg pants. So we've got the front fly with the waistband, the belt carriers. These might be side seam pockets, which are really annoying in pants. Ugh. Um, oh, these little itty bitty pockets. I mean, come on. And then you can also make them floor length pants. This version looks the exact same as the last one, as the red pair, not really sure. Here's your skirt. And then here's everything. So B is shorter than A? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Oh, she's wearing B. All right, so A isn't that long. Here are our line drawings. Yep, straightforward stuff there. All right, chambray, chino, corduroy, cotton types, denim, gabardine, lightweight denim, linen types, sateen, stretch wovens, twill. Yeah, I mean, I think that the skirt is a little bit more flexible than the pants in terms of what fabrics you can use, but all those bottom weights would be great. Especially because it's wide leg too, you know. All right, eight to 20 on the size range. Front fly trousers in two lengths with straight leg, waistband has belt carriers. Straight skirt has waistband and fly, and front fly fastening. Okay, cool. Now we've got cargo pants and a knit top. So this might be what athleisure is like morphing into. Um, the top is v-neck with a little like waistband. The pants have an elasticized waist. Side seam pockets with some kind of trim on them, which is kind of fun. Then you've got your cargo pocket and then your cuff with a pull tab. These are actually pretty cool. Yeah, nice big back pockets. You've even got a yoke at the top. I don't hate these pants like I thought I would. The back of the top is just like a regular knit top. Yep. Here's the illustration of the top. Here's the illustration of the cargo pants. This is interesting to me. That's such a cute detail. 
And you can also cuff the hem of the pant to give it that sort of, well, cuffed look. Cute. Cute little streetwear situation. What is happening to her foot? I have to zoom in because I'm just a glutton like that. Oh, it's not going to let me see. Oh, man. It's not going to let me see. Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> her heel's like not even trying to be in that shoe. Come on, guys. Get the girl some shoes that fit. Oops. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm going rogue. That's what I get for making fun of people. I think that's probably normal. Okay. So 8 to 20 is the size range. Uh, casual top and pull on pants. Pull on v-neck top with long sleeves and waistband designed for stretch knits only. Pants designed for woven fabrics have elasticized waist, cuffed, or turned up tab hems, side seam, and cargo pockets. Let's look at the suggested fabrics. So the top is bamboo, interlock, jacquard, jersey, ITY, modal, velour, yeah. And then the bottoms, chambray, cotton types, linen types. I mean, yeah, I guess cotton types is a pretty broad term. Twill is a cotton, so maybe that's why they're just kind of including all that in one. All right, and the rest, oh my gosh, look at her little baby hairs. All of the rest of them are kids' patterns, which we do not cover here because I don't sew kids' patterns, so I don't know how to review them. And then this is all what we covered in the summer edition of New Looks First Impressions. So what do you guys think? I told you in the beginning I love New Look patterns, so it's no surprise to me that I honestly, truthfully, could get any of these patterns and make something and be very happy. I'm actually kind of surprised with some of them that I like some of them. For example, like this skirt, totally not something that I would uh, necessarily pick out for myself, but seeing it styled this way, I don't know, it's giving me so much inspiration. This is a lot of fun. And I feel like now that I live in, you know, colder climate, I could really make use of that. Of course, I love this. I even have fabric picked out already that I got when I went to Boston, um, picked out for this. So, but I already have, I think I have the Berta style version that they made, but this one's equally as cute. I love all the dresses. Yeah, they did a really, really good job. I love this one. So super sorry that I missed this when it first came out, but here we are. And it's still in season, so not too, too bad. But let me know what you guys think of these patterns, which ones you'll be adding to your collection, which ones you loved, which ones you hated, which ones you just really don't get at all. Um, I don't think there's anything super crazy like that in this collection though, but let me know if you think so. And that's gonna do it for me today. I will see you all very soon. Bye.